What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jared and today's the big day. We are headed over to Diesel and Automotive to see our friend Greg who's going to install Turbo Time USA's new turbo on our 6.0 Power Stroke Diesel. I am very excited. Again, as always guys, a huge shout out to Greg over at Diesel and Automotive and also another big shout out to Turbo Time USA. They are our new sponsor. I've had a great experience with them. I'm very thankful for what they do. And I'm just super, super excited to get this turbo on my truck and see what it does. For those of you that missed my last video, go check that out. It is basically going over the turbo, but just for those of you that don't have time to go watch that to get you caught up to speed, it is a modified turbo. It has a 03 exhaust housing, and it has a modified dual plane 66.2 by, I believe it was 92 millimeter compressor wheel. So much larger than factory and a good bit larger than the Powermax turbo I'm running on. Plus we are now upgraded to a billet wheel instead of a cast wheel. So guys, I will not be showing the full install. You guys have seen me pull turbos out. I don't even know how many times now. Uh, I will do a little fast forward little time lapse as Greg installs it on the truck. Obviously, I'm still recovering from surgery. For those of you that follow the channel closely, you know that, and I'm unable to, so you guys have all seen me pull a turbo. I'm gonna let Greg do this, obviously. And then we're gonna get into my initial impressions of the turbo. Obviously, I talked about the quality, and it seems to be a very well put together turbo. It looks freaking killer. Uh, turbo Time USA, has clearly put together a great looking product and I'm super excited about it. But first guys, if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up and let me know what you guys think of our new turbo on our 6.0 Power Stroke. As you guys can see, we have the turbo all out here. Greg got this taken care of. Many of you may remember me complaining about the BD up pipe being a bear to get in. It's because there was a stud at the very back of the firewall that wasn't allowing me to move it at all. So Greg uh, did grind that down for me, gave us a whole bunch more movement out of it, and it's probably gonna be a lot easier to wrestle that in in the future. Not that I'm planning to do that anytime soon. Now over here we have our Powermax turbo that was on the truck, and here we have the new turbo. It's upside down. We're gonna take this piece off. This really is a neat idea. It's so simple yet, it's, it's just a neat idea. I really like that. A lot of, you know, I know you don't need to run this, and like I said, I don't typically run the rear bolt, but it is nice to have the ability to do it if you want to. So anyway, guys, the install is going well. I'm going to show you guys a little clip of Greg wrestling it in when he does that, and uh, most of this video is actually going to be really about driving around later and the initial impressions of the turbo. I'm running TSD's SPD tune. Loving it so far. Very excited. It is written for that turbo over there, the new one. So we'll see how it does when we get it in the truck. Sorry guys if I sound a little off today. I have a lot of sinus uh, issues at the moment. I'm getting over a little bit of a cold. So anyway guys, bear with me. So we'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay guys, so full disclosure, I have driven this around a little bit already. I didn't have the camera set up. So, so far first impressions, wow, this turbo is awesome. First and foremost, I wanna say the sound that this turbo makes is out of this world. If you're one of those guys that likes a really loud turbo and you want people to realize you have something done, this is the turbo for you. I've done the Powermax, I've done modified stock, I've had a uh, billet single plane wheels. I don't know if it's the wheel, a combination of the wheel and the velocity port on this turbo, but this thing is freaking loud. But it's loud in a good way. It's not obnoxious or annoying. I really, really enjoy it. It definitely lets people know all around you 
that you got something going on under the hood of your truck. This is probably the first Power Stroke Turbo I've tried on this truck. This is essentially my fourth different configuration if you count the Power Max is one, the stock one with no mods, the stock one with the billet compressor wheel. This is essentially now my fourth setup on the truck and it's the first time I can tell a difference under the hood. Now, full disclosure, I had some concerns about the size of this turbo. It is kind of large, especially when you stop and consider I have a very, very mild injector upgrade. It has a stock nozzle still, which is a big restriction and it's only 175 cc body. So we're talking an injector that runs out of steam in the low 500s and a turbo that's probably capable of low, maybe mid 500s depending on injector. With the injector I go with, I don't think we'll get that high, but somewhere at least into the 600 range and I've, I'm out of steam, so to speak, with this injector, a full 75, maybe 85 horsepower before what this turbo is capable of is reached. Also, I do want to say those are my estimates. Those are not anything that Turbo Time USA has said. Those are just my assumptions based on previous people's dynos with injector and turbo combinations because nobody else is really making a 66.2 millimeter compressor wheel but Turbo Time USA, at least to my knowledge. It's not to say someone isn't doing it for the six liter, but he's the only one that I'm aware of at this time. Now, just a little quick review here. I'm I'm in some decent traffic here. I can't really get in the throttle and have fun. And it's very easy turbo to drive in traffic. I still have very minimal turbo lag. The truck, I mean, it pulls so hard. Uh, this turbo clearly very well cleans up these injectors no problem at all definitely a very noticeable turbo whistle it whistles a lot more and instead of coming from the tailpipe it's clearly coming from under the hood i mean this turbo is screaming loud as far as smoke output there's very little i've noticed i can drive it very easily with virtually no that's just really fun to do, sorry. Even that little extra throttle there, no smoke output with it. Very, very clean, quick spool up. I can't say enough good things about this turbo. It is just a great, great product so far. I'm, I am super excited. I don't know how well that's coming through because I am, I, like I said earlier, I have this sinus thing going on right now, but I'm loving this turbo. This turbo is more than I ever would have thought it was going to be. I am, it's just out of this world. Like I said, due to this being a relatively large turbo, for a VGT turbo anyway, its drivability is great, which is the bonus of VGT. Obviously, if I went to a non-VGT in this size, I'd probably have some other things to say about that. So it's relatively large turbo, it spools quick, it's easy to daily drive, you're not sitting there waiting for a turbo to spool and irritated with your purchase it drives just very very well and it pulls like a freight train this truck when i get injectors in it again and a transmission that can stand up to this abuse is going to be something special but just to focus in on something i think there i think this goes to say something about turbo time usa and their product is i have a relative i have a very mild injector upgrade what makes it so mild is I stuck with a stock size nozzle. I didn't go to the 30% like a lot of people do. And in doing that, I'm able to run a cleaner truck because the fuel, it doesn't dump so much. It atomizes better, which gives a cleaner burn. But I also severely limit my power output. And from what I can tell so far, there's not a single issue with it. The truck drives really nice. There's not an issue at all daily driving this. It's not like really laggy. A lot of people have driven in a V8. I'm sure a lot of you have driven in trucks that had too big of a turbo. I would bet this turbo would pair just fine on a race tune with stock injectors. Now I'm not saying that I would advocate for that but I bet it would do perfectly fine 
and you wouldn't have any issues. Because again, my injectors are nothing crazy and they're working great with this turbo right now. I'm really excited about this. Okay, I think we have a road here. We're gonna quick do one pull with it. And of course, a car to ruin our fun is coming. We're gonna let them get a little way by. We're gonna do one pull just to the speed limit. No speeding. It freaking rips. This truck pulled it. Holy crap. That's fun. Now my seatbelt locked in. There we go. Yeah. So this truck is pulling. We're going to do more videos with other pulls and we'll get some exhaust notes and I'll figure something out. Maybe we'll get some. My one friend Steve from Hammerdown Motorsports, he has a camera that he mounted under the hood of his car so you could hear the supercharger really well maybe we'll get a way to get the camera under the hood of this truck and do that for you guys that might be kind of cool so guys i hope you've enjoyed this upload i do want to say my initial impressions here are i'm loving it the turbo looks good it performs excellent i mean this turbo is doing great on the street i'm loving it it sounds killer this turbo is really going to turn some heads when people hear it because its whistle is definitely more than any any other 6 liter VGT turbo I've heard. This thing is loud. So, so far I have nothing but positive good things to say. I highly recommend if you guys are in the market for a turbo, go check out Turbo Time USA. I will have their links down in the description below. Let him know that the 6.0 bros sent you over there. He's gonna take great care of you guys. You're gonna love your product. I can tell you this turbo is performing so well so far. I only have a few miles on it. So far, I'm absolutely loving this turbo. Let's not forget we have plans for bigger injectors, a built transmission. We have track days in there, dyno days, towing, you name it, daily driving. I'm going to test this turbo like you wouldn't believe. We're gonna find its limits. So far though, this turbo is performing exceptionally well. I'm super excited, guys. If you enjoyed this upload, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And let's see those comments down below, guys. I'll see you in the next upload.